when I got my first Antminer S9, I didn't realize that the place I was buying them from was including the Bitmain power supplies that they make to go with their Antminers. So I had bought that Supernova from uh, EVGA, 1600 watt power supply, which has a pretty beefy power cord as you can see on it that came in the box. But when I got my second S9, since I, of course, by this point realized that they came with power supplies, I didn't bother buying another EVGA Supernova. I just figured I'd use the one that came with. The uh, downside is, is it doesn't come with a power cord. And so I just go to my local computer store and get the beefiest one I've got, which is apparently 10 amp, which I thought would be enough. Unfortunately, if you can see, I'm pulling 12 point, yeah, I'm pulling 12.3, 12.4 amps right now on that cord. So 12 amps there, 10 amps on the bag, that's a recipe for burning down your house. So let's not do that. So then I looked around, the cord plugged into my gaming rig was rated for 13 amps, and that's what it's running on right now. But the problem is, is that's really not that great either. 12 and a half out of 13 amps, that's really close. And if I actually touch that cord right where it's plugged into the little kilowatt device that's measuring the power, it's kind of warm. So I've ordered some 15 amp capable power cords online, and I'm gonna switch those out. So, just a little warning. Before you get an ant miner, if you're using those power supplies that come with it, or if you're using something else, you probably need to be getting a 15 amp cable, if not a little bit better than that even, just to make sure that you're on the safe side.